Today we're talking about one of my favorite men's staple items and that is the bomber jacket. If you're interested on what this is and how to style it, you should definitely watch this video. <clears throat> What's up guys, my name is Brandon with Style So Dapper and at this channel we talk about men's fashion, style, and grooming and sometimes I'll do unboxings and things like that. So if you're interested in that, you should definitely hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you can always be notified when I put out a new video. Also check out my Instagram and my Twitter because there's a lot more content on there. And give this video a big thumbs up. So the bomber jacket, first let me tell you guys what it is and maybe a little bit of history about them. But some of the signature traits of a bomber jacket typically is going to be elastic around the sleeves with elastic around the waist and elastic around the upper neck with no collar but some elastic. That typically is going to define a bomber jacket. Also going to have a pocket right here on the sleeve with a zipper. But you know those items can change throughout different bomber jackets. When you're out shopping for a new bomber jacket, some of the things you want to look for when trying on bomber jackets is the fit. Now, most guys will typically go for the larger ones because they probably don't think that it needs to be form fitting around the waist and the chest area, but it should be, you know, kind of not tight, but it should be form fitting. It shouldn't be all loose and hanging out like a, like an old nineties jacket and the sleeves should hit right at the wrist. They shouldn't be way hanging off your hands and they shouldn't be way up here. If you're normally, if you think you're large, try the smaller size because sometimes it'll end up fitting way better than the size that you think you are. They also come in a bunch of different styles and fabrics. This particular one I have here is a nylon and it's not really lined at all so it's pretty lightweight but this is a pretty casual one. As you can see you could wear it just like this with a black t-shirt and some jeans and you know this is a great look. Here's another option. Got the olive drab green with the orange inside liner but this one's a little bit thicker so I usually wear this when it's a little bit cooler out. It's more like a hunting style jacket but you know it's always in style if you wear it right. It's definitely bold but again this is another one that you could wear pretty casually especially when it's a little bit colder and you can layer these items. Now here's probably one of my favorites. This would be like a step up from the last two that we saw because this is a vegan leather but I'm not a vegan or anything like that. But it's just the brand, it's just the type of material they make it out of. But as you can tell, the zipper is right here and it's not on the arm. And it's a little bit form fitting. And it's a little bit more, you know, step up, kind of, kind of uh, shiny right here. And it's kind of suede leather. This one you could definitely wear with a nice pair of slacks and tucked in shirt with some nice double monk shoes. You could throw this on and you look killer. You can, the ladies will be falling over trying to talk to you. This is a great, great jacket here. And again, same thing with the fit. So now let's talk about some brands and different stores that you can buy bomber jackets. Now all three of those that I just showed you guys, two of them were from Banana Republic and the green one was from The Gap. Those are probably my favorite stores for bomber jackets, but you can always check department stores like Dillard's, Macy's, and Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, stores like that, they'll always carry bomber jackets. I've seen a few good ones at Dillard's before. And they usually, you know, you can find some cheap ones to a little bit more expensive, but you gotta keep your eye open and know what you're looking for because bomber jackets are a staple for men's fashion. So they're pretty easy to find. And that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.